Hi everyone, so I'm so excited. Today's the day of the big bus tour. So I'm here at reInvent in Roseville and we're about to get going here. We're gonna visit about five or six different stores in the area and I literally cannot wait. I've been looking forward to it all week. So come along with me, I'm gonna take you shopping. Katie here from Thrift Your Heart Out and today I'm back with a gigantic haul and this is from the latest resale bus tour that I went on a couple of weeks ago and this time it was all focused on stores in the Roseville, Rockland, and Granite Bay areas. So um, if you guys haven't heard about this bus tour before, oh my gosh, let me tell you, it is so much fun. Um, the reInvent Clothing Boutique in Roseville actually puts it together. So they coordinate with different stores in the area so that you uh, take a bus tour to all of them. They arrange for lunch. Um, which is a box lunch from Panera and it's delicious. I've told you that before. It's so good. <laughs> um, and you actually get 20% off at each store that you go to um, and raffle prizes. They do raffles um, in between travel to each store. And this last one that I went on, they had the most raffle prizes that I've ever seen. And this is my third time going on one of these best tours. So that was really, really cool. Um, so it's $35 to go on the tour, which I think isn't a bad deal at all for you know the fact that travel is taken care of you get those discounts at the stores and it's just a dedicated day for fun and shopping I mean why not do it I, I always have so so much fun when I go on there. all right so they actually keep the stores on lockdown that they're gonna be going to they don't really tell anybody until the day of the event so what they do is they give you your lunch bag in a reusable tote from reinvent and they put the um, list of stores in there so this is the list here. I was very excited when I pulled it out of the bag and saw where we would be going. And um, I would say uh, quite a few of them I had been to before. Obviously Freestyle is on this list, which is one of my favorites. Um, but I had not been to the American Cancer Society shop. As silly as that is, it's so close to work and uh, the area that I am in Roseville. And I just haven't been there, so shame on me. Um, and then this Rock Hill Boutique at the end, um, I guess someone dropped out for the tour, so they had to kind of fill this in with a shop that's in the Roseville Fountains, but they had really cute home decor and jewelry and stuff, so that was no big problem. Um, but let's jump into it. We started um, the day off at reInvent. They always do little mimosas and breakfast and everything, which is so, so nice. And um, I mentioned it before, the store is just really cute. It's set up in that kind of boutique style. So they have, you know, chandeliers and pictures of Audrey Hepburn and all this stuff that just makes me happy. Um, but let me show you guys what I found there. All right, so first up is this really cute flower print skirt. And um, I was drawn to the print, obviously. I really like kind of bold prints like this, but it's also super, super light. And for any of you in Sacramento, you know it has been really, really hot here, hence why my hair is up in a bun like every single day. It's already starting to get into the 100 degree weather and it's just, it's too much to bear. Um, so I thought that this was kind of a nice uh, piece for the summertime, really lightweight. I can just throw it on with a black t-shirt and some jewelry and be good to go. Um, but this one is from New York and Company. And I want to say they took the price tags off, but I want to say that this one was $8 and then also got the 20% off discount. All right, next are these really, really cute uh, little boyfriend jeans here. And you guys can see they've got kind of the distressing on them. And then they're just nice and simple on the back pockets there, which I like. I don't like a lot of um, hoo-ha, if you will, on the back pockets. I don't need diamonds or anything 
let's just keep it simple. Um, but I can tell you guys I've already worn these like three times since I got them a couple of weeks ago because they are so comfortable. They go with everything. I can wear them to work even with some, you know, wedges or heels um, or dress them down for errands and stuff. Um, so I was super, super happy to find them and they fit like a dream. Um, and they're by the brand ANA, which they carry at JCPenney. Um, and I want to say that these ones were $10 and then 20% off. So I was so happy to pay that because I am just in love with these jeans. So I got this really cute black and white polka dot shirt, which of course you guys can expect to see some more polka dots as the, uh, as the haul goes on, of course. Um, but I was just totally drawn to the shape. It has kind of this light peplum, nothing too crazy. But then it also has this really, really cute button detail all the way down the back. And then of course the Peter Pan collar just sold me. Um, it's so comfortable and I actually tried this on with the boyfriend jeans and it was an outfit right there. So I was so happy to find this one. I'm kind of in love with it. And I want to say this one, I don't know the brand though. There's no tag in here anywhere, unfortunately. Um, but I want to say that this one was marked at $12 and then of course got the 20% off. All right, so the final thing that I found at reInvent was this really cute, really simple black and white striped tank top and it's by H&M. But I just love the little tie detail here. It just makes it a little more interesting than just, you know, a basic tank top. Um, but I saw this and I was like, I'm going to wear that about a million times this summer. So yes, I will take that. Um, and I want to say that this one was only $7 and then 20% off. So really not bad at all. Um, and that's one thing that I love about reInvent is that they have these kind of more casual pieces and kind of basic tank tops, basic jeans, that kind of stuff. But then they also have really nice, beautiful dresses and shoes. So you can go there for any kind of occasion and find something that you need at a really, really good deal. So I'm kind of a fan of that store and I love that they put on this tour. So the next place on the bus tour is a place called Trixie Boutique and I've been there previously on uh, the first bus tour actually that I went on um, and it's a really nice boutique. She has really cool shoes and uh, you know really cool clothes from San Francisco and little boutiques all over the place so really cool. Um, but of course I was drawn to the three dollar rack that was just outside the doors. <laughs> I was kind of like, yeah, yeah, that's all cute. I'll be out here. Um, and I actually found a couple of things. So let me show you guys. All right, so first up from that $3 rack that I found is this Esprit uh, denim vest. I know, how cute is that? I thought this would be really cool paired with a maxi dress or kind of a girlier dress or a verse sweater for the fall. Um, so I just, I kind of thought it was cool and for $3 I'm willing to kind of take the risk there. Um, so I just thought that was a nice addition. It's in really good condition too. Um, so yeah, I was happy to find this. Alright, so next up is a really simple top, but one that I uh, was pretty drawn to because of the color. I think it's picking up more orange. It's actually more of kind of a cantaloupe color, kind of a melony orange, um, but it's just a, a silk little tank top here, and it's from Clio for Nordstrom, so it's got that vintage tag there. Um, but it's just, it's in really beautiful condition, and I just thought it was such a beautiful color for the summer, and I'll be able to pair it with a bunch of different things. And again, for only $3, you know, why not pick it up and try? So next up on the bus tour is a place called Nice Twice Consignment Shop on Vernon Street. And we'd been there uh, previously on the first bus tour, again, that was kind of centralized around Roseville. Um, and it's a great store. I just happened to not find anything, so I don't have anything to show you guys from there. But it was still a really nice store. They've got um, kids' clothes as well as women's clothes, so that's kind of cool. Um, and they always have really good shoes, I've noticed. I just kind of struck out, but their shoe selection is pretty great, so definitely go check them out. And then after that, the American Cancer Society Discovery Shop, I want to make sure I got the name right there, it's kind of a mouthful, um, was next up on the tour. And uh, again, I hadn't been there before, which I just think is ridiculous, but I'm so glad that I got the introduction to the store because I'm kind of in love. They have home decor kind of over on one side and then clothing on the other. Um, and they do all of these kind of themed um, events throughout the month. So at the time that we went, it was the black and white theme. So literally they had um, racks of just dresses and shirts and pants that are just black and white. So kind of cute, makes for a really nice display. Um, but I found uh, a few things that I'm really, really happy with. So let me show you. All right, so first up is actually something that I would not be caught dead outside in. And it's because it's a nightgown <laughs> from Victoria's Secret that I found. I mean, obviously the yellow and white polka dot, I just couldn't say no to. And then it has 
a super cute little flounce at the bottom, which I just think is adorable. Um, but this was marked at $4, and then we got 20% off of everything. So really not bad, and I know I'm going to need this in the summertime for sure. So of course I found the bulk of my items from the uh, American Cancer Discovery shop um, in the black and white section. I mean, big surprise. Um, including this really pretty, I'm going to put my hand in here so you guys can see. Um, it's got these little polka dots all over it, but it's sheer. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous on. And I, um, I tried it on and my mom was like, um, yeah, you need to get that. So it's just, it's really, really pretty. I know I'll be able to dress this up or dress it down. Again, this with the boyfriend jeans that I got earlier would be really, really cute. Um, and it's just super comfy. It's really kind of light and flowy. Um, so I just thought that this was really, really beautiful. And I want to say that this one was $8 and then 20% off. So next is a dress that's uh, a little outside of my bounds, we'll say. <laughs> but it's this really beautiful peplum black dress. And it looks kind of simple, but then it has this really cool kind of cut-in um, back detail there. So it's like super racer back, and then it has the peplum kind of continued there. Um, I saw it on the rack and I was like, let me just try it on. Let's see. So again, I showed my mom and she was like, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> like, let me think. Yes, you need that dress. So of course I'm going to trust mama. She's got really good taste. So I went with it. Um, but I like that I can wear this to kind of a work event and be appropriate, but I could also kind of wear it out on the town, um, and switch it up a little bit and it'll be good for both events. Um, and so it's by the brand Lush and it was only $10 and then 20% off. So eight bucks. All right. So the final item that I got at the American Cancer Society Discovery Shop, yowza, that is a mouthful, um, <laughs> was this really simple black dress and it's that really lightweight cotton and it's got the, um, high low, uh, hemline there, which is nice, but it is just super, super lightweight. I'd been kind of needing things for running errands around town, and I just think this will be super easy to throw on, put some flip-flops with it, and be good to go to, you know, run to the grocery store or what have you. Um, and this one was marked at $8 and then 20% off. So I thought that was really good, and it's just, I mean, seriously, it is so, so comfortable. So finally, for clothing stores on the bus tour was the one that me and my mom were the most excited to go to, and that was the Freestyle Clothing Exchange in Roseville, which, of course, is so close to work. I go there all the time, but I was happy to go again. And, of course, that's where we found the most items. That's just, you know, where we're comfortable and where we know where to find things, and they just have really cute stuff. So let me show you guys. So first is this super amazing, oh my god, I love it, um, black and white peplum top, and it has kind of this um, pleather detail on the sleeves and the hem here. And I'm telling you guys, because of this kind of stretchy material, it makes me look like itty bitty. So I was kind of like, um, yes, I will get this. <laughs> Like, this is amazing, and it's just super, super cute. I kind of, I'm kind of in love with it, really. Um, and it's by Aniana, which I haven't heard of. I don't know where they carry that. And this one was marked at $11, but then we also got 20% off at the Freestyle store, so that's pretty awesome. So next is a super cute little dress that I found. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of in love with this one. Um, so it's got these pink flowers all over it, nice and silky, um, and it has this really cute detail in the back here, so it's kind of got the cutout right here and then the little bow, um, but it's by that Lauren Conrad line for Kohl's, which I love her stuff. I think it's really, really cute, very kind of beachy LA girl, which I love, um, but I just thought that this was a great little sundress, something easy that I can throw on for, you know, lunch out with the girls or going to run errands, so I'm kind of in love with this one. And this one was marked at $13 and then 20% off, so I was kind of happy to pay that. I think it's really adorable. So I also found this really, really cute uh, striped dress. I'm kind of in love with the whole nautical thing right now, um, and I loved the uh, high neck detail, but then it kind of goes out in a slight A-line, so it's just really easy breezy, super lightweight, really cute, so I'm kind of in love with this. Um, and it's by H&M, 
and it was marked at $11 and then of course we got that 20% off discount at Freestyle. So I went a bit dressed crazy <laughs> at Freestyle. I couldn't help myself. I found way too many good ones. Um, so I also got this uh, super basic just black dress by Cotton On but it has just this little um, keyhole in the back here just for a tiny bit of detail. Um, but this is what I need for summer. I just need stuff I can throw on with some sandals and be out the door. Um, it's just too hot to think about, you know, buttoning and zipping and too many pieces. No thank you. I just want to keep it nice and simple with something like this. Um, and this one was marked at $10, but of course I got it for $8. All right, so the final piece from Freestyle um, I actually have kind of a funny story with, so let me show it to you guys. So it's this little polka dot dress with the little uh, flancy sleeves and it has this really cool cutout in the back on either side. So really cool, kind of in love with it. Um, <laughs> but funnily enough, a few weeks ago on Instagram, I posted a picture when I was in freestyle of um, me wearing this dress in the fitting room and said, hey, what do you guys think of it? And as I was at the store, I was kind of like, oh, maybe I'm not so crazy about it. But then I saw all of your comments and everybody was like, oh my God, it's adorable, so cute, you have to get it. So of course I didn't get it that day, you know, decided to go back the next day to try to find it, couldn't find it anywhere. So I was like, oh darn, too bad, you know, I'll figure out something else to wear. Um, but uh, <laughs> I was there for the bus tour and it was there on the sale rack. I was like, this this is thrift gods talking to me. They're telling me that I need this dress in my life. So I just kind of grabbed it, knew it would work, and was so happy to take it home finally after that whole story. Um, but this one was marked at $10 and then it was half off at the store and then also got that 20% off discount. So maybe it kind of paid off to wait a little while to get it. So the last place on the stop was actually not a resale store. It was a boutique in the fountains um, across from the Galleria um, called Rock Hill Boutique. I guess one of the stores that uh, reInvent was working with had backed out at the last minute, unfortunately. So they kind of filled the space with this um, store in the fountains, which was fine. You know, I happened to not find anything there, but me and my mom kind of tooled around and went to a couple of the other stores in the area. So it ended up being fine. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing my ginormous haul from the resale bus tour that I went on. And I'm going to make sure to leave links to all of the stores that we went to below and make sure that you follow reInvent Clothing Boutique on Facebook because then you'll find out about the next one and you guys have to go. It's so much fun. As always, guys, thanks for watching and happy thrifting. Bye.